Afternoon all, welcome to Tube Talk, this being a Boxing Day edition. All good, Boz, is that right? Yeah, thanks, Chopper. <laughs> I'm, I'm lucky to have you. you like, I, I wasn't allowed you, and then you had Matt, you did it with Matt, and I got jealous. And so now we get to finish the year together. Yes, I've been, I was invited back, so I must have done something right. Um, yeah, we've been we should crack into it, though, Boz. We've got a lot to get through, haven't we? Um, but first, yeah, let's yeah. talk about we had a Quinella with uh, Might and Eridani at Tarapa last week. Yeah, that'll make a very good picture on the wall, uh, the two of them. So Might, really good training effort from uh, from Stephen McKee and Kylie Grass has helped us out as well. He's just a confidence horse. He got his confidence back and um, really good to see and he can push on. Uh, Eridani... Was a little bit unlucky. She just uh, she was finishing hard and she lost a shoe and cut herself. So she's close to a win. And the other thing is we had another horse in race three. The needle ran fourth. So we're first, second, fourth. And if she'd run third, I would have had the trifecta. The first four would have got the lot. But it was uh, no, it was it was good. It's, it's it's always great when you've got a picture on the wall and two horses. Good one. And then into this week, we've got a lot happening at Ellerslie. Um, first of all, race one, Saturday the twenty sixth, Reposa Repeater. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, uh, Boxing Day, one of the best days of racing of the year. And uh, we're in race one and ten, so I'll be there all day. Yeah, Repose Repeater, as will be the theme of the weekend and seems to be the theme of the year. Bad draw. He's drawn barrier eight out of eight runners, which doesn't seem bad, but when you're the outside draw, it means you've got less options than everyone else. So he'll probably get back in the field, but he's been freshened up well. He's got a low weight. Um, there's some quality in the field, but he'll be hitting the line hard. He likes Ellerslie. He's a distinct top three chance. Great. And then we've got four in race seven. We've got uh, Hazabro, Make Time, Quick Preview, and Mighty Aslan. Yeah, the Dunstan final. So we've targeted them all there, and they all deserve their crack um, at it, an $80,000 final. As I was looking at the barrier draws, I, I, I opened up the page on Tuesday, and Hasbro drew 12, and I thought, oh, well, one had to draw wide. And then Make Time drew 13, and I thought, oh, well, that's the two bad draws out of the way. Went down the page, and then uh, Preview drew 17. I was like, you're kidding me, three bad ones. And then Mighty Azam was the last one, he drew 19. So, so it was a bit of a disaster. But um, anyway, with ballots coming out, Hasbro, we'll talk about him first, he should start from about barrier eight. He can settle anywhere, but if he jumps well, he'll probably roll forward. Um, he's a horse that's probably looking for 2,000 metres, but we'll try to keep him fresh um, for the 1,500. He's in really good form. If he can get one off somewhere in the first sort of four, he'll keep running. He's a he's a fit horse, and he'll keep running. Um, and, and he's an each-way chance. He'll be over the odds. Um, the next cab off the rank, Make Time. Uh, he loves Ellerslie. He's had a really good prep. He's won two races this preparation. Um, we had Michael McNabb booked, but we've only got 54 kilos, so we might be looking for a new job. It's hard for Michael to get down to that weight. He'll jump from around about barrier nine. He can settle anywhere. Um, as I say, likes Ellerslie, and he'll be attacking the line. The only question mark I've got is he's been up a long time. And he's coming to the end of his preparation. Uh, next horse, quick preview. He will eat up all of this 1500. He's been desperate to get to that distance. His last run at Ellerslie was very good, hitting the line hard for third. He'll get back in the field anyway, so the barrier draw isn't too much of a, of a concern. Um, and he'll run really well, quick preview. Um, he likes it hard, and I think it'll be firm on Boxing Day. And the last horse, Mighty Aslan, he was an explosive winner at Ellerslie last start. Actually, that was Chopper when you interviewed Matt, and uh, he talked about it. He tipped it out, and it won and paid fourteen dollars. So that's probably why you guys are so popular. Um, he's only rating sixty-five horse going into this race, but he he's got a really good turn of foot. He's in for a very very good preparation, and he can win this. He'll get he he will get back. He will need cover, but if there's strong tempo on with his turn of foot, he's a, he's a genuine lead chart. So. Four nice chances in that race. Yes, indeed. And then, of course, we've got two in race 10. Is that right? O.E. Can and Loose Cannon? Yes, we do. We like our double-ups. O.E. Can, um, he's had two starts this prep for two really nice fourths. He should have won fresh up. He was just stuck wide. Second up, um, 
he just got tightened for room. Over 1,200 was looking for 1,400. So, look, he's a three-win horse in rating 65 grade. He's won at Ellerslie. Um, he's got a nice draw. He'll be able to slot in somewhere. Um, and he, he's a real each-way chance. Um, Loose Cannon is the unluckiest horse in New Zealand. Um, you know, fresh up. Fresh up. She bridle broke and she had to be pulled up. Next start, she just couldn't get clear for fourth. And last start at Ellerslie, she would have won if she got out. She just could not get out. Um, so she's got barrier 14, Michael McNabb back on. Mm-hmm. So she shouldn't, she shouldn't have any, any problems, um, being able to get out, uh, on sad day, but she will be a long way back in the field. She'll be a long way back with cover. Um, but she'll be roaring home and she's a good each way chance as well, running for 50 deaths. And then we're down to Awapuni with, um, can't catch her. Yeah, first starter for us, uh, Mongolian Khan Philly. Really like her. Um, we've scratched her a couple of times with wide barrier draw. She's got barrier six, which is nice draw. I can see her sort of settling midfield and she's a three year old against older horse, which is always tough. But she'll, she'll run a nice race on debut and be even better as she gets up to 1600 metres and further. She's an Oaks type of filly, got a lot of time for her. Uh, but ju- just a starting point, but she'll run a nice race. And then Wingatui, we've got, uh, exuberant in race five. Yeah, unlikely starter, unfortunately. He's got barrier 14. We'll make a decision closer to time. Um, but barrier 14, he'll get a long way back. It'll make it, make it quite tough for him. He'll probably go to tomorrow on the 28th. And then race seven, we have Severine. The only horse that's drawn well for us the whole weekend, barrier one, and she's third on the ballot, so she won't get a start. If she did get a start, she, she's a she's a winning chance. Ignore her last start run. She needed it after a little freshen up, and she'll be cherry ripe. But this, if she doesn't make the field, she'll go to career on the 30th. And then race eight, we have Aristotle. Yeah, he's going well. Um Last couple of runs for fourth and third, and you'll see on the video his last start here at Winger Tui for fourth. He came from a long, long way back and hit the line really hard. Um, we'll have to do something similar because he's he's drawn out in the car park, so he'll get back as well. But there'll be there should be tempo on. He'll be roaring home. So draw, draw makes it difficult, but he is a relax and get home horse. And then we have uh, running man. Now you say race seven here, but we can't be going backwards. So would it be nine or ten? No, same race. race same, eight. Oh, race eight. Yep. Yeah, same race. Yeah. So he running man won on New Zealand Cup day, uh, coming from the back. Um, he then last start was actually a very good run, and his form it says seven or eight or something or nine, but. Um, he, he missed the starter, but he got back, but he was travelling nice, and he got a bad check, and he just lost all of his rhythm. And it took him about four or 500 metres just to get back into a good rhythm. And when he did, he was running strongly through the line. He's got a nice barrier draw. He should be able to posse up probably, you know, midfield or forward of that. Uh, and he, he, he's, a, he's a good winning chance. I like his chances on this day. And then last but not least, we cross over to the Gold Coast there with uh, Monofasar in race seven. Yeah, so really good second from her last start. Gee, they punted her. I think she opened at 10s and ended up closing about $2.90. She got a long way out of her ground, but made a big run, sustained run for about 700 metres to just go under. Uh, the key for her really is a, is a decent track. I think she's a lot better on a firm track. She got a heavy track last start. It's heavy there at the moment, but hopefully that with a lot of sunshine between now and Saturday, it'll dry out. She's got a wide draw. She'll get back again. But she's going well, and if it's a firm track and there's a reasonable tempo on, you know she'll be she'll be right there. Good one, and then she's also a horse. I should say, I was going to say she's also a horse that she's going eighteen hundred, but really looking forward to getting her over two thousand metres and further. She'll she'll enjoy getting up to a mile and a half. Great, and then of course, uh, what time is it? <laughs> Everyone try roll, time. please. Better the week. <laughs> Am I going to show? Shall I say the bit of the week? You have to. Yeah, yeah. So bit of the week is Ellerslie race six. The Uncle Remus mistakes. Tokarangi at ten dollars. Um, really uh, classy filly. Uh, was unlucky in the thousand guineas down at Rickerton. Um She's fresh up over fourteen hundred. Uh, she might get out of her ground a little bit and relax, but I think she'll be roaring home. 
I think she's got a lot of class on her side, and I think $10 is double the price she should be. So Tokarangi is our bet of the week. And our final bet of the year. Great. Let's just hope we uh, have lots of Christmas presents from the bet of the week this week. Then, we? <laughs> New Year would be a New Year's present. Hey, if anybody did. <laughs> Yeah, well, if anyone gets you know, little bidding vouchers in there, in there, you know, that Santa drop, dropped off them, they can put it on Tokarangi. But um, also, just want to say to everyone, uh, been a, it's been a, a, it's been a difficult year for for many people for, you know, for, for COVID and lots of reasons. But um, appreciate everyone's support. Um, hopefully, we've provided, provided a bit of humour on the way as well, and um, have a great Christmas and a happy New Year, and keep punting. And see you on the other side. They're moving in now for the parenting of the teenagers maiden. Can I have $20 moves in? I don't care. Along with have you unloaded the dishwasher? There's nothing to eat. Another selfie moves in and shut the cupboard, the last to come in here. They're all set and they're racing. Don't speak to your mother like that. Bolted out and took the early lead with pick the towels up off the floor. Have you done your homework? Don't slam that door and you're not wearing that. Turn that music down was making up ground. We'll turn the light off. Can I have a lift down the street? You're not going. It's not fair. All my friends are allowed. Can I have $20? No, you can't. Got no cash. And would you put that bloody phone down? Get out of bed. Please don't ask again. Have you unloaded the dishwasher? There's nothing to eat. Shut the cupboard. I'm hungry. And last on the fence, it's another selfie. 400 out and it's picked the towels up off the floor. A length in front of have you done your homework? Don't speak to your mother like that on the inside of don't slam that door. With can I have $20? No, you can't. Please don't ask again. Got no cash. You're not wearing that when you put that bloody phone down making up some ground along with have you unloaded the dishwasher at the 200 it's picked the towels up off the floor going stride for stride we don't speak to your mother like that have you done your homework can i have 20 dollars? no you can't it's not fair all my friends are allowed i don't care your room's a mess you're not going and out of nowhere sweeping down the outside put that bloody phone down don't speak to your mother like that can i have 20 dollars? put that bloody phone down gets it Put that bloody phone down, gets it in a photo. It's got it by a short half head, I reckon, to don't speak to your mother like that. And have you done your homework, Scott Third? God, we love them. But it's a toughly fought out race, this one, isn't it? The parenting the teenagers maiden.